Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for July 30th. The Mets are back in black. The black uniforms are back. And before I get to today's game, I do want to talk about the black uniforms because there's a little bit of controversy. Actually, I'm not seeing anyone talk about this just yet, but I'm going to open the controversy. When we got the promo videos of P. Alonzo wearing the, 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 the new thing, it had an orange Nike logo. And it, it kind of complemented the, the, the uniform real well. But the uniforms they wore tonight had white Nike logos. And I'm not sure why that was. Uh, I think the, it looks better with the orange logo. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of that Nike logo being in white. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below but let's jump to the game because the Mets lost six to two to the Cincinnati Reds and mind you uh, at the recording of this time the Braves and Phillies are both losing their games the, the Braves are trying to uh, about to come back at the moment um no they need to win games you've got to win games the 500 baseball that they've been playing it's not going to keep them in first if they keep losing games that they should be able to win and this was one of them. Um, no, and, and there, there's so many things, so many aspects, so many things that you could say and say that, well, no, in retrospect, you know, had you known, then, you know, you would have done something a little different. But let's talk about the first things first. Carrasco's back. He pitched four innings for the Mets, gave up one run. It was a solo shot in the first inning, first batter he faced. Uh, and then he was good. He, he pitched four innings. Basically, after that first batter, that, that welcomed him back to the majors after the injury. And welcomed him to the Mets, you know, as an official man. No, official, first time. Spring training don't count. But, um, Carrasco pitched well. Uh, the Mets gave him a run. Uh, a run in the bottom of the first. And this, to me, was the turning point of the game. The fact that the Mets had bases loaded. I believe there were no outs. And the Mets just could not come through at all. And it was bad. Um, Alonzo was 0 for 4, and so was Conforto. And Conforto just seemed lost at the plate. And I still don't understand why he's batting 6. Like, to me, Conforto should be batting 8th. Actually, I think he was batting 5th, actually. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was 5th. Or 6th, one of the two. Um... He can't be in, in that spot. You can't cap someone who is who is just not hitting. And he did this earlier in the season where he def, he finally moved Conforto down to eighth spot. Conforto started hitting. Very next game, he moves him back up. Keep him at the eighth spot for now and, and let him get a couple, couple games batting eighth. And let's see what happens. Now, I mentioned that bias coming to the Mets is a good thing. That's right. The Mets got Javier Bias from the Cubs. Um, and it's going to be a good thing because he'll be playing short. And this will, uh, once Lindor is back, he'll move to second base. McNeil most likely will move to third. And J.D. Davis will play outfield every so often. Or third base. No, platoon. No. no. Basically, they're going to they're gonna take turns. No. And, and it's good to have flexibility on where people can play. But I also think that this is a good thing because Conforto right now is struggling. Smith is a streaky hitter this season. Um, I think it's time to, to start really messing this lineup up because, again, the Mets' offense is a problem. The pitching is fine. Even today, you go, well, the Mets gave up six runs. Now, let's be honest, the Mets gave up six runs because they left certain pitchers on to pitch a little too long because the Mets were not leading anyway. So, you know, the mindset, I guess, in Luis Rojas' head is, well, you know what? I, I want to give my pitches a couple more days and, you know, this guy pitched fine. So let me, you know, let me extend uh, uh, Banda another inning. Let me extend Castro another inning. Let me extend these, these, these arms on the, on the bullpen because it's not like we're winning anyway. And, no, it's a bad mindset to have because you want to make sure the game stays close. But either way, um, you know, the fact of the matter is this, is that the Mets' offense has not come through. And that first inning was all you needed to know. They just did nothing. Nothing. You could feel that the Mets had nothing in them. When they were making contact with the ball, it was so weak that I'm like, 
what is going on? I feel like the Mets cannot make contact, good contact with the ball. Um, it was a base hit by somebody. I'm trying to remember who it was. And it felt like the ball beat him, and he muscled it over the shortstop's head. And I'm like, man, it's like everyone that Mets play against pitches hard. And that doesn't seem to be the case. Also, the Mets can't hit curveballs. Um, the last couple of days with the Braves, they were being curveballed to death, and the Mets just could not touch the curveball. So, not sure why the batting coach, the hitting coach, the, the manager is not noticing these things and working with the players on trying to figure out how to read a curveball. Because I understand it's not the easiest thing in the world, but they're all getting fooled by curveballs and it, it's making them look bad. Guys, like I said, tomorrow Bias makes his Mets debut. Um, I believe it's also Rich Hill pitching for the Mets tomorrow. I believe it's Rich Hill. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. It's Rich Hill. I, 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 I am 90% sure it's Rich Hill pitching. If it's not Rich Hill, I'll put the probables for tomorrow on the screen. Actually, I'll still put the probables. But, um, guys, let me know what you guys thought of today's trade. Let me know what you guys thought of the black uniforms. And let me know what you think guys think of the Mets right now. Uh, are you worried? Are you, uh, you know... Confident the Mets will turn this around because, as much as I want to say the Mets will turn this around, uh, you know, you know me, I don't like Luis Rojas and I don't feel he motivates players the way he should. So, yeah, um, I'm hoping the bias trade really works out. He is the type of player that you kind of want, especially because he brings a little bit of attitude to the team. And this team seems to be a little, I don't want to say soft, but. You know, they're lacking energy. And, and that's something Lindor, even though Lindor was not hitting to the way we were expecting him to hit, he at least had a lot of energy and, and, and brought fun to the team. And the team just now, right now, seems like they're, they know they're struggling and they don't know how to fix it. And no, and that's never a good place to have your mindset. But anyway, you know, like I always say, let's go Mets. Tomorrow, the Mets take on the Cincinnati Reds. We got to win baseball games. Um, it's it's going to be August on Sunday, and uh, we're still in first, which is the most important thing in the world. We are still in control of our destiny, but we got to win games. That's number one. Win games and hold your position. Um, guys, I'll talk to everyone tomorrow with another Mets recap at tomorrow's game. Good night.